Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melinda and I am here with another Dollar Tree haul. This is the continuation from the last one I posted. Again, no rhyme or reason. Um, excuse this, I'm, I'm trying something different, which is just leaving my hair down because I never do that. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, see if I can make through a whole video with it down. Okay, first thing I'm gonna show you is what everything's in. Look at this bag. So this tote bag, we got these, and they are, does it say a size? It does not say a size. No, they're Greenbrier, but we got four of these to use for the blessing bags. Um, we just started with these four. There's other bags that we would like to use, but we saw these and we're like, well, let's grab some. So we got four of those. And that happened to be the one store that we went into that we didn't bring in bags. So we bought them and used them. All right, so four of those. And then I got some more of these um, holographic note folders because we got some for Bailey, but Tracy really liked them too. And since we're working from home, um, we can use these to tuck some of our stuff away. I got, I'm just gonna grab in this bag and see what I find. This magnifier with a light. So it's got a light and then it magnifies what you are reading. Um, I got this to go along with that gluten-free book, the gluten-free food facts book that I showed in my last video. So that's what that is for. Um, we picked up some shot glasses in their seasonal section. So we're planning a, as long as everything opens up a little bit more, as long as things are uh, able to happen the way we want them to happen, a group of friends are gonna be getting together this winter for a birthday trip. Um, someone's turning 40, so that's what these are for all right we found some tempera watercolors it's a five pack that was something new that i haven't seen before by crafter square and it's um 0.352 ounces each and you get red yellow blue white and black so that was pretty neat. I have never seen this there before. I think I saw one person haul this, um, but we had never seen it in the store. So that was pretty cool. We found some Leaping Leopard Sriracha sauce. So that is nine ounces and Tracy enjoys some hot sauce from time to time. I'm not a huge hot sauce fan, but we knew that if we didn't get it, we'd wish that we had. So we got that. And somewhere there's another Leaping Leopard sauce. I uh, just don't know where. Got a couple more Hot Wheels to go with the ever-growing Hot Wheels collection. Got a motorcycle. BMW K1300R, if that means anything to you. And then this little truck. It's a Mazda Repu. I'm sure my son will tell me that I'm saying that wrong. Not gonna, not gonna expect any different from him. Found, I told you that I had found some triple A's in the Energizer Max. Actually, I think Tracy might have found these, but there's the triple A's. And then these were pretty cool. We're always looking for tweezers and then we lose them and we buy more. And now I think when I redid our bathroom, those little drawers that I bought to do our bathroom in, it's like full of tweezers. But can never have too many. So we found, I found a three pack of mini tweezers. So it's got pointed tip for ingrown hairs, slanted tip for brow hairs, and flat edge for thick hairs. So that's kind of neat. I'd never seen something like that before, and that's by Sassy, Sassy and Chic. 
I can't talk sometimes. Another two pack of the hand sanitizer. This is lemon scented. Um, you just, whether it's for us, we can put those in the blessing bags. Those two packs, you know, we can throw one in each blessing bag, give them to friends and family that can't find any. So that's why we keep grabbing at least one box whenever we go. We found some fun, I want to call them games, but they're not games. These are trivia kind of learning card games, basically. They're all for ages six and up. It's called Brain Busters card game. So over 150 trivia questions. This one is Creepy Crawlies. This one is Sports. And then on the back it tells you Brain Busters is a card game packed with fun trivia questions designed for kids or even adults to test their knowledge about a variety of cool subjects. With over 150 trivia questions, Brain Busters provides hours of entertainment, act active learning, and a lot of fun. The perfect game to play at home, on the road, or in the classroom. So this would even be good if you are a teacher. You could go through these, and Tracy wants the sports ones. This one is Ocean Life. When I worked in a classroom, we did, um, Jeopardy a lot so um, But you could do this kind of stuff. We would play Jeopardy. We'd play master Minds I think there's a bunch of trivia games like that that we would play in the classroom. This one is geography This one is nature and The last one is space So those were pretty cool so those, you know, we're going to go in the, in the bin for probably the nieces and the nephews. Another box game. I think there's, yeah, there's a couple of them. This one is Family Feud, the original. Well, the last Family Feud we got was kids versus adults. So this one is just Family Feud. This one is Name the Celebrity Guessing Game. Found another color of the Mad Lab uh, foam putty. There's, I was going to say six ounces. No, it's six grams. 0.21 ounces. Finally found some more of the raspberry mocha. Tracy really liked that. And we were only seeing the vanilla, the regular mocha, and I think caramel. But then we finally found some raspberry. They had, with the Father's Day stuff, they had some cute um, picture frames. And both of our dads are passed away, but I've got a couple pictures of dad that are just kind of laying up, so I thought I'd get this. It says, best dad in the world. And I can throw that picture of my dad in there. Um, we've got a cool frame with Tracy's dad in it. And we can put dads in a frame too, instead of just laying it on the counter. And then I found a book, it's Pantsuit Nation. So it's a hardback book, it's a fabric cover and it's got like a, just a partial sleeve dust cover. Um, the retail price was $27.99. And celebrates the power of collective storytelling. Um, believe that feminism is an intersectional, is intersectional. We believe that women's rights are human rights. We believe that progress around racial justice, LGBTQIA plus rights, rights for people with disabilities, religious freedoms, and the fight to combat hatred and bigotry in all forms is most effective when emboldened and humanized through first person narratives and it goes on but that seemed like a pretty could be a very powerful book um particularly on everything that's going on right now so let's see 
This was new. I've never seen it. Tracy and I have never seen this before. By Crafter Square. It's tie-dye. So they had... We got green and yellow. Because our teams in this house are Packers and the Oregon Ducks. Um, but they also had red, pink, blue... I maybe one more color I'm not sure and it comes with looks like it comes with a glove and the squirt bottle and the the coloring is in the bottle right there so yeah pretty neat we'll give it a shot and we found these big cans of hunts San Marzano style garlic olive oil and basil whole peeled tomatoes it's a 28 ounce can so I can use this to try and make some pasta sauce the next thing I have for you these were very intriguing to me so we grabbed a pack this is way better snacks it's avocado ranch whole grain corn tortilla chips with sprouted flax quinoa and chia best before September 6th so that's what they look like it just looked really intriguing they had several different flavors but this is the one that I wanted to try um, and how many ounces in here it's two ounce bag so those should be a good to try out um, oh we found another color we found a blue of the foam putty I got another one of these coloring books, The Bold and Fearless, because the last one I got, I gifted, and then I was jealous, and I was like, do I want that for myself? So I bought it because I found it, and either, it's not like I need more coloring books, I have a bajillion of them, and I don't need more, but I like it. So, okay, this is something that, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to try. Now, I like pork rinds. Tracy likes pork rinds. They're really good for keto. They're good for Weight Watchers because it's a, it's just a healthier, op it's a healthy option. Low carbs. These are microwavable pork rinds. I, I passed these up the first couple times I saw them. And then I decided that I need to try them. So I'll have to let you know what we think. It's by Lowry Bacon Curls, Microwave Pork Rinds, Chicharrones, original. Hot and crispy, less than one gram of total carbs per serving. And there are three and a half servings in the bag. And you just cook it like a bag of popcorn. And we'll find out we got two of those because if I bought it and then I liked it I'm sure wasn't gonna be able to find it again so I got two. and we'll see how that goes Tracy wanted a snack while we were there and then never ate it combos does anybody remember combos from when they were younger these are the pizzeria baked pretzels and they're filled if you're unfamiliar with those they call them stuffed snacks here's the other leaping leopard sauce this is sweet chili sauce so sweet chili sauce nine ounces by leaping leopard is there a best by date on here September 20th night 19 <laughs> September 20th 2021 it is not expired by 20 years, I promise. Okay. Um, ta -da. Tracy found some trucker hats that she wants me to try and use my Cricut. And we can do an iron-on decal on here. So we'll see how that works out. It's just an all-black. They had um, different colors. Um, I want to say they had at least four different colors. So give that a shot. If nothing else, a dollar. It's a really good way to try out and see, hey, does is this a good thing? Can we do this? And 
whatnot. A couple more books. This is Stronger by Jeff Bowman with Brett Witter. I saw the bomber. He took my legs, but he didn't break me. He only made me stronger. So this is about a man from the Boston Marathon. There's a picture of him. So that should be a really, a really good story to read. I'm sure that'll be very inspirational as well. This one is just a guilty pleasure read. It's an American drama, The Kardashians. Yes, we have been known to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And no, I am not ashamed of it. Um, US $27.99. Can you see that? Kind of stronger retail price was $16. Okay. Uh, last two things in that bag. Another one of those solar lights because I showed you in previous ones that I got two of those jars. I think I want to do two of the solar things. Once I finally get around to doing it, I'll show you how that turns out. And then I found this ribbon, really cute ribbon, um, burlap with the stars and stripes on there. It is two inches wide by eight feet long. So there's eight feet of ribbon on there. I want to say this is the ribbon that's on the wreath that I did. It was a pre-made ribbon though, but I can totally use that. Okay, some more stuff for the blessing bags. Um, found some travel toothbrush kits. So it's a zipper bag to keep everything clean in, and it's got a toothbrush, a toothbrush cover, and a thing of Colgate toothpaste. So we grabbed four of those. Um, I showed one of these in the last video and we got four of them. It's the antibacterial wet wipes by Personal Care. There's 40 pre-moistened wipes in here. And then we got these, cause we're gonna try and do four bags for women and four bags for men, um, just so we can put some, you know, like tampons and pads and stuff for the women. These are by The Nobleman. I think I've shown these before in a different video. We got some for Tracy. These are cooling face and body cleansing wipes with aloe and eucalyptus. There's 30 in there. So we got two of that one and then two of the active face and body cleansing wipes. These are lemon and sage. Found some Berea penne pasta. This is a one pound box. So we can make some good dinners with that. Um, they have by enticingly easy, savor the simple things, classic cheesecake mix. So we got two boxes of that um, and it has little recipes on the back for cheesecake or cheesecake balls. No, classic cheesecake or classic cheese ball, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, looks pretty easy. It's the mix, cream cheese, whipped cream topping, and graham cracker crust. And then fresh fruit is optional, or packaging. Found some Vlasic squeezable relish that's dill relish, which was awesome because we're not huge sweet pickle fans. So we got two of those because we can use this when we make tartar sauce. We can use this in potato salad, um, tuna fish, anytime that we don't wanna cut up pickles. So excited to find dill relish at the Dollar Tree. And that is, I'm sorry, that is nine ounces and it's good until August 7th, 2021. So that'll last us a long time. Some cute little just decor. There's no hanger on the back. You could add one if you really wanted to. This one is be useful, be kind, bring wine. And it's got, so it's like plexi that's raised up. 
It's just plastic, but be useful, be kind, bring wine, and then happy home. Sorry, I'm trying to show it so you don't have a glare of everything else. That one, and then she believed she could, so she did. We thought those were cute. I think they had one more, but it wasn't anything that we were gonna use, but I guess I didn't need to not get it because like I say all the time, think about what you can do with it. Can you DIY with it? And this, what you can do, the lettering is on the underside, so you could unscrew these and then take it off and you can scrape off the lettering and you could put your own design on there. You can use acetone to take some things off, but some things you can use just a straight edge razor um, too. It just depends on the mediums, I think. We got this precision screwdriver set. This is a six piece and um, yeah, just a good little tool set to have around the house. These were pretty neat. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them right now, but if you're having like a baby shower or a, a, any kind of a party where you wanna label what things are on your table, there's these. And you can add your own message. You can use, it says use a marker or paint pen to customize your plaque. And um, so you can, probably use a dry erase marker. You can use something permanent and then that'll always come off with a different medium. See, there's the, that comes off really easy and it's blank. So you can just stand that up and you know, this is your whatever, spaghetti and meatballs and this is your cheesy bread, whatever. Um, but yeah, those were kind of neat. Next, because who isn't a child on the inside and who doesn't want popsicles? Um, <laughs> Tracy said we could put booze in them. Um, speaking of frozen booze, have you tried those wine popsicles from Costco? It looks like a Otter Pop, but it's wine. <laughs> they are delicious, let me tell you. Um, so if you ever see those at Costco, pick them up. Well worth it. Okay. These are, it's a six pack of ice pop makers. Um, apparently it's a bonus. Apparently normal size would only get four, but I got six. And then it's got the little straw down here so you can suck it out as it's melting. Um, I don't know, We. it gives you ideas on the top for frozen smoothie pops and frozen coffee pops. <gasps> what? Frozen coffee pops are a great way to enjoy coffee on a hot day. Pour coffee and any creamer into the ice pop maker and freeze to enjoy. That sounds delicious. Okay. So there's those. Nothing super fun and exciting, but, you know, sounds good. Um, pineapple, anyone? It's a loofah. Looks like a pineapple. This is by April Bath and Showers. So... I mean, that's, that's that. It's cute. Um, I believe I've shown these before. This is the ski ball. We found it again. So I will open it up and show you this time. If I can get into it. Okay. So on the inside, you get five little ball bearings and then there's the track there how cute is that and then it's got these little stickers arcade ball you can put stickers on there and then it's got the little scores that you can put in the different circles how neat so that's just fun um again those would make really good basket fillers stocking stuffers um just uh for fun 
We finally found some floating shelves. You can get floating shelves at the Dollar Tree if you're lucky. Um, it comes with the screws and the wall anchors. And it says, great for disp displaying small items, knickknacks, and more. It's 8.6 by 4 inches, holds up to 5 pounds. So you're not going to hang this to put anything heavy on it. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could try hanging it on tacks if you're only going to put, like, you know, the little popsicle picture frames. But we really liked them. We want to try them out, put up the little knick-knacky type things. So we got four. We got four of those. This is a really cute little mini clipboard. It's got cactus and tacos on it. And it's 40 sheets of paper on that little mini pad. Got a couple more of those color changing LED lights. I will add in a picture here. Um, that's what we did with ours. I told you about what I was going to do, but I don't know if I showed you. So that's what we did. And they're all kind of going at different times. So we really like that. And we got these that I'll probably put those lights in. These are really neat. It's got this that you can put a regular candle, an LED candle. You could paint this and then kind of distress it. Um, you could put a silhouette vinyl on it. So there's a lot of things you could do with these. Um, got myself some more of my tahine corn nuts. And we found some more pesto. This stuff was really good. We, tr we used this in the pasta salad. We used this with ravioli. And we used it for... Maybe that was it. Maybe we just did the two things. I want to say there was something else, but I don't remember what it would be. Tracy's telling me no. It was just the two things. But it was really good. So we got a couple more of those. And of course, first store I went to, when we wanted it, they didn't have it. We finally found it later. These were new. That I've seen people haul them, but I've never seen them myself. They are hand and nail gloves. So, um... Looks like it's a 15 to 20 minute, it's like a mask for your hands. Nourishing, softening, and uplifting. It's by April Spa, April Bath and Showers. There's one pair in here. So I thought those were kind of neat. So maybe Tracy and I can give those a try. Found this neat little book that I'm going to give to a friend. It's Happy, I'm going to butcher this, Happy Gurumi. Guru, gurumi 20 super cute amigurumi toys and cro to crochet i don't know how to pronounce that tell me in the comments below but aren't those just adorable all those little stuffed animals i don't know how to crochet my mother did but i do not i mean come on how cute are those Maybe I should teach myself to crochet just so I can try making some of these. Right. This is the last thing you should learn to crochet on, right? Isn't the best thing to learn on, like, granny squares? Um, another thing that we found in the book, book section, I am having a hard time with my S's today. It's Waiting for Baby, a pregnancy memory album. And this is, it's still in the plastic. Um, this is going to be really good to keep in the gift stash for a mom to be. Um, if I hadn't already gotten one for my daughter-in-law, I would give her this one. But right after we found out that she was having a baby, we went to the bookstore and we got, let her pick, she picked out one of those. We got the what to expect when you're expecting books, all that. But um, to find this at the Dollar Tree was pretty cool. So that's gonna go in the gift stash. And then the last two things I'm gonna show you is what we found in the DVD Blu-ray game section. Um, we found this. This is by BBC Earth from the makers of Planet Earth. This is called Life, narrated by Oprah Winfrey as seen on the Discovery Channel. What? Really? 
this is how many discs? It does two discs. No, four discs. It's four discs. This is gonna be so fun to watch. It's gonna be so cool. So we found that. Four discs. It says down there. Oh, you saw my reflection. And then the last thing. Tracy found this. Super excited about it. We don't have anything to play it on yet, but she wants one and we're gonna get one. It's an Xbox One game. Madden 17. Sure, it's a little out of date, but it's a brand new freaking Xbox One game. How can you pass that up? Even if we end up not getting an Xbox One. I sure know a lot of people that have this system. Merry Christmas, happy birthday, happy whatever. So, that's everything. I'm done. Another long one. I apologize. I didn't warn you in the beginning. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Leave me a message in the comments. Let me know you were here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. When you do subscribe, you can hit the bell. That will tell us, tell you when we have uploaded a new video. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you like this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.